Yeah, I just wanted to take a little bit of a video to give you an idea about the time cycle um, that it takes for our, our drain and fill system to work on this aquaponics setup. So I clicked the start recording just when the siphon kicked on. And uh, it seems like it's been taking about 40 seconds for the bell siphon to um, drain the, the entire grow bed. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. It just it doesn't take very long, but again, we're getting the benefit of a lot of oxygen um, being pushed down into water. And now the siphon has stopped. And as we move up uh, to where the pump, the growing bed is, and the water pumping in, as we look down in there, I'm not sure how, what, how the quality of this video. Um, that water starts filling in, and it seems like it takes between three and four minutes for it to fill. I know this could be very exciting, kind of like watching paint dry. But we'll um, we'll talk a bit about the system as as we uh, as we wait. When we first set the system up, we we attempted to pump um, pump water up with a, a simple aquarium pump that was designed for a filter and I had hacked that and put a little tube in there and it just it simply um, this little motor simply would not lift the water high enough so I purchased um, a couple of mini submersible pumps uh, the one that's in the tank uh, is this one 145 gallon per hour mini submersible pump uh, from Harbor Freight Tools, it costs $14.99. Um, I also have a slightly larger one. It's a 190 gallon per hour mini submersible pump. Um, both of these should have a lift capacity of somewhere uh, around five feet. Uh, we're hoping that this larger tank will be able to use um, with maybe one of our larger tanks, which would be at about 200 gallons of water, will attempt to be moving. Um, we'll have to lift about three feet on this. This one, our lift is approximately two and a half feet, so it's not too bad. Check our pro progress on the water filling up. It's it's coming up there. It just it takes a while. We do want it to be somewhat slow. Um, the little seedling plants that we put in here are just some some old seed that we started um, in some some little uh, peat pots. I'll show you those real quick. And uh, then we, we went ahead and, and uh, transplanted those yesterday and so now we have some other seed, seeds that we put in. Hopefully we'll get uh, maybe get a few more seedlings. We did put these plants in maybe a little sooner than what we wanted but I, I just wanted to try to get the system cycling. The whole thing has been set up now for about um, about five weeks and um, so we've finally got it stable. We haven't done a lot of water testing to really tell where our nitrogen cycle is, but um, we think with, with the amount of fish that we have and the amount of time that they've been in there, we're probably pretty stable. And I wanted to go ahead and get the growing bed populated up with, with bacteria. And now we're getting pretty close um, for, our, for our bell siphon to kick over. We have in here, in our growing medium, we probably have about uh, six inches that gets saturated and about six inches that stays dry. Uh, we're pretty confident that our little seedlings and roots um, will go down and find that liquid water. Looks like it's just about to kick on. And here's the amount of water we're pumping. Not a lot, but it, it is lifting it very nicely. And we just let it run in there and it fills the entire, the entire growing bed. Hydrogen is an interesting product. Um, it has a lot of, it's a clay-based product. It has a lot of red dust, so we had to rinse it quite a bit um, in order to get that um, where we weren't going to pollute the entire system. We'll move around front, and we'll see um, it should kick on there. It kicks on one more time. Just starting to go. The interesting thing about a bell siphon is it is, uh, doesn't require power. It's strictly physics-based. Uh, right under here, the way the tank is, we just have a couple of couplings that hold everything together. Simple PVC pipe. Nothing is glued. It's all just slip-fitted. That way we can take it apart if we need to. And there are the bubbles.
And there we go, it's done. That's one entire drain and fill cycle. Um, so we say the whole system takes about five minutes. Right now we have the pump on 24-7. And this has only been set up for about uh, 24 hours now. Uh, we received the pumps yesterday. Oh, hope you enjoy.